What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. We got ourselves a Toxic Orb Poison Heal Gliscor team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Gliscor, this Pokemon is super dope. We just don't see it that much. And honestly, its design is phenomenal. What is it? A scorpion and a bat? Kind of like both mix. It's super cool, but it's flying in ground type and it is four times weak to ice. So we got to watch out for any ice type move when this Pokemon is on the field. But Poison Heal and Toxic Orb as its item and ability is absolutely amazing. Toxic Orb is going to poison the Gliscor, but Poison Heal, instead of taking damage from Poison, will actually heal Gliscor. So this thing can stay on the field for a good bit as it's a bulky Pokemon that is constantly recovering HP. Gliscor over here has Tailwind for speed control, high horsepower for stab damage, faint to take off protect, and last but not least, it has protect, which works perfect with its item and ability. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Miraidon, who's the top tier restricted Pokemon in Regulation G. This one's got Hadron Engine with the Assault Vest, Rock and Parabolic Charge, Dragon Pulse, Electro Drift, and last but not least, it has Volt Switch. Our final four Pokemon features Palmot, Ogre Pond, Ditto, and Tauros. A lot of off-meta Pokemon on today's team. Palmot's going to be great for fake outs and reviving teammates with Revival Blessing. Ogre Pond's a big-time physical attacker. Ditto is amazing considering it is Choice Scarf and you can always uh, transform into other restricted Pokemon. So say they have like a Shadow Rider Calyx. We can just transform right into that and get after it by outspeeding it with the Choice Scarf. And then we got Tauros, our final Pokemon with Intimidate, one of the best abilities in all of Pokemon. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Gliscor team. Going up against Zamazenta in match number one with Rillaboom. Now, we know they're definitely going to be bringing in Rillaboom considering we have Mirabidon. They need some form of terrain control. So, if I can get rid of this Rillaboom, we could be sitting in a pretty good spot. But I'm kind of looking at Tauros right here with Intimidate and Will O Wisp. Thinking this Pokemon's actually really good considering. I mean, we could just burn Rillaboom, but a lot of their Pokemon are special attacking. So that's something we're going to have to watch out for. Now, I could go into Ditto, which I kind of like here, but I don't know if I should lead it. I do not know if I should lead it. I could go into Gliscor, start getting after it with him, maybe set up a Tailwind. I do like that. Ogre Pond's not bad here either, especially with the, uh, the Rock. That's not bad. I do like the Rock typing on him. Hmm. What is my play? Because chances are they're going to go into Grimmsnarl here. We don't like Grimstone. I could just lead me right on and try to just tee off from there, right? They set up screens. They set up screens. So I'm going to go into these two. Last score me right on. Bring Ditto in the back end. And then last but not least, I think we need the attack power more so than anything. So I'm going to go Ogre Pond here over Tauros and Ditto. I like it. I like it. Looking for a win here in match number one. But this one seems like it's going to be a little tough. Especially if they bring Rollaboom Roll Boom and Zamazenta. Which, obviously, they probably are. I'd be super surprised if they don't. I just feel like both those Pokemon are just heavy hitters or i wouldn't say heavy hitters but tough pokemon to get off the field and they kind of counter me pretty well right we'll see we will see but again hopefully they just don't lead Rollboom. Rollboom will be a tough lead for us and obviously they're gonna lead it right no they don't we love it so they can swap into Rollboom if they want but we're sitting here with gliscor in the field with high horsepower not too shabby i could protect and obviously trigger toxic heal but i think just attacking this turn is in our best interest i could go for a parabolic charge because I can get HP back that way, which is gorgeous. Um, and I will not hit my... What's it called? And I will not hit my boy. Hmm. I get HP back. I get all that good stuff. I think this is our, our best option. No effect there. And then we just double down into you. You got to swap into what's it called. You got to swap somebody for uh, Roll Boom. I'm just curious to who. I think they would swap... Terrakion more so than Chiyu. So I'm going to double down on Chiyu here. If they're going to swap. And no, we're not going to see a swap. No swap coming out here. We're just going to see a Terror type pop out here from maybe Chiyu. No from Terrakion. Hopefully no protect. And you go perfect. Nice little ground typing here. That's looking scary. Especially if you have Terra Blast, right? Don't protect the Chiyu. Do not protect the Chiyu. We just want to get rid of the Chiyu. We want to get rid of this Chiyu. We need to get rid of this Chiyu. Do not protect the Chiyu. I'd be so upset. You could be going for maybe like a Snarl with Chiyu. But I feel like we should just be able to KO this thing and get some HP back. He's going to go for Terror Blast. He's outspeeding me. Can you soak this? This is scary. Can you soak this? Soak it, please. You get a crit. Come on now. I'm at 205 HP. And you get a crit to KO my boy. That really hurts the soul. 
That really hurts. I lose my restricted Pokemon just like that. Taunt's gonna come out here, which is totally fine. I mean, I can't protect anymore, but still, I'm attacking already. Which is good news for us. High horsepower, we're gonna connect. Which is good news, and we're gonna do some nice damage over onto Chiyu. Now, this this just sucks. Because honestly, I probably should have survived that turn and got rid of Chiyu. But I mean, going into Ogre Pond's not gonna be bad. I mean, the speed is kind of scary here with Terrakion on the field. I mean, I could just Spiky Shield and get rid of... uh. Hmm, because I don't have Terra anymore either. I do not have Terra. We're just going to Ditto and just transform and tree scarf up. The ground moves is what's the worst, right? The ground move is what really does me dirty. I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him. We gotta go in we gotta go into Ogre Pond here. We have got to go into Ogre Pond. Now obviously I can go for a follow me. Um I could just attack. They might swap to you. Um I might just spiky shield here. Power Whip's not bad if I could pull it off. I'm gonna go for a Power Whip. Going right for a Power Whip here, and I'm gonna stay with the high horsepower into this slot. They might swap the Chiyu here. Wouldn't be surprised if they do, but I'm kind of hoping they do because I would love to just land a Power Whip. And they're gonna withdraw him. Oh, you little biscuit. He going into Rillaboom finally. It's gotta be Rillaboom. It has got to be Rillaboom. And no, it's going to be for Rigoraph. So Rigoraph's going to come out here and Flamethrower is going to launch into my Gliscor, who soaks decently well. I can't protect, which kind of sucks. But Power Whip going to do big time damage, which we love. And High Horsepower we're going to fly. Now, I'm really surprised that they don't have Rillaboom. It's got to be Zamazenta, right? We get a crit, but that was just a, a stupid crit. That was a pity crit. That crit didn't matter. You were dying regardless. Now, I can't protect, which really sucks. I really wanted to protect here just to get back some HP next turn. And honestly, if they would have brought that grass terrain, that would have been awesome. Because so I could just get double heals with my uh, class score. And they go right back into Terrakion here. Um, this thing is Quirk Drive boosted. Boosting is special attack. And I didn't even realize that we boosted special attack. But I think from here, we just stick with the power whip into the slot. And honestly, I could protect here, but I'm just going to stay with the high horsepower. Honestly, I might go for a Tailwind here. I'm taunted. I forgot. A Tailwind would have been nice, but I'm going to high horsepower into Frigoraph. Because I love to just land a power whip into the slot. You can go for Tachyon Cutter. Yeah, which we die out to all day long. Sucks, man. This 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 thing over here is just kicking us right now. It's honestly just kicking us in. Glasgow, you outspeed. You do. KO for me. Thank you very much. Now I can bring out what's it called. Now I can bring out my boy. My taunt's gone. I can bring out my, my ditto. And I get choice scarfing with it. So I got some speed cooking, which is good news for us. I got a lot of speed cooking for us. We get the ditto popping. And he's going to send out Zamazenta. All right, so here we go. Now now we're getting after it. Don't let shield, all that good stuff. And this thing does not have, what's it called? This thing is not in its shield form. It is not in its shield form. I can just rip a psychic into this slot. You're scaring me, man. You're scaring me with that terror blast. I'm choice though. I am choice. You are just scary. I feel like I have to go after Zamasenta with Psychic. I mean, we're gonna outspeed, we can do some nice damage. Because yeah, you're not in your crown form for some reason. You are not in your crown form, so you're just straight fighting. So I think I'm cool with just doing that and then just going into no, we want a choice in a psychic, because I don't mind that. And then I just want to go into a uh, high horsepower. Maybe just double down this slot. Yeah, I'm going to double down this hot I don't think it protects either. You son of a biscuit. I should have fainted it. I should have fainted it. Oh, man. Now it's just game set match. Now it's just game set match. Honestly, Gliscor did really good, but that crit early on really does did us dirty. Can you soak this? No, you're dead. You are dead. Our only way we potentially win this match is if we one-shot this Zamazenta. Uh, and then uh, get after this uh, Terrakion. But I don't, I, don't, I don't think we can do enough. I really don't think we can do enough. I really don't think. So to protect on the Zamazenta really just helps him out tremendously. You're outspeeding me. I'm able to soak that. You're choicing to that, aren't you? Oh, if we can KO, we got a shot. If we can KO with this Psychic, we have a shot. Psychic dropping. Come on. Get rid of the Zamazenta. Ah! Hate this game. Living in red. Now Tachyon Cutter can just KO me. That come on, man. Come on, man. Living in the red. That just sucks. Yeah, you're outspeed me. Unless it's a speed tie. 
It definitely is a speed tie, but you win some, you lose some. Honestly, this this Iron Crown just get after me. Why did I keep calling it Terrakion? I think I kept calling it Terrakion. That's his other friend. That's Tachyon Cutter, which sounds like Terrakion. But yeah, this Iron Crown just did me dirty this match. That crit right off the rip really, really just, mm, just did me dirty. There's no other way to put it, but hey. I don't want to get things started. We got to use Glyscore really well, but I would love to grab ourselves a win in match number two. Moving on to our second match, looking for our first win. Like I said, we actually played pretty well with Glyscore in the last match. Just that Iron Crown did us dirty with that perfect round terror type, getting a big time crit onto Miami Rhydon. But we're going up against Terrapagos. Now, Terrapagos is our only form of getting rid of terrain or weather. We don't have weather, but that's our only form of getting rid of terrain. And I kind of still would like to lead me Rhydon. I don't mind me ride on a Glyscore. I'm just... Hmm. Rap Ghost is scary. They do have Incineroar. Incineroar could be tough. I could maybe lead like a Palmot here. Because Palmot can fake out turn one, which is great. And yeah, I really do like Palmot and me ride on. I'm going to go into Palmot and me ride on. Bring Glyscore in the back end alongside with Ogre Pond. Honestly, we might not want to go Glyscore here. We might want to go Ditto instead. Ditto's just so clutch. It honestly is. We're going to go into Ditto. We're gonna go Ditto over Glyscore. I love Glyscore. I really do. But Ditto's just so good. Late game Ditto is where it's at. Because if it's a 1v1 situation and all you have left is Ditto, Ditto's gonna come out there, transform into whatever Pokemon, and then be able to outspeed on top of that with a Choice Scarf. It's just so big. Plus, it takes stat changes. So if they wanna set up this Trap Ghost with like Calm Minds and stuff, we should be fine with it. Now, he's gonna go into Incineroar here. I mean, we should just fake out Incineroar. And he's gonna take out Terrain, I think, right away. I think he takes out Terrain right away. I think he does. I think he takes out Terrain right away. Do we hard swap? Me ride on maybe turn one? Hmm. Could definitely hard swap. We could. We could. Um, I think they do Terrasalize, so I think we're fine to just like attack here. They might even hard swap in center. I'm just gonna attack. I'm not even gonna fake out. You have Volt Absorb, don't you? Yeah, okay, so I can just go into a Parabox Charge. I don't think you fake out here. I really don't. I really think you just swap in center. Now you do fake out. Why don't you swap there? Why don't you swap there? Now, Close Combat's gonna get the Terror Shell. Tough news for us. He's just gonna wanna set up a Calm Mind. I honestly should have just faked him out. I should just faked out the Trap Ghost. I really did think he was gonna swap in center. I really did think you were going to swap in Cinewar, but I mean, I could just keep launching these, uh... I could just keep launching these close combats. Which I'm going to do. I have Focus Sash all day, so I'm going to launch that close combat. And honestly, now it's not a bad turn for me to swap into Ogre Pond. What do I say on the field? Just go for Parabolic. I think we go for Parabolic. Yeah, because we can heal up Palmon if we need to, but Close Combat can do some nice damage. Here's a Protected Trap goes. Smart play. Smart play. That was only one play I didn't really want happening. Parabolic Charge might be able to heal up Palmon enough to get his Focus Sash back, which is really what we need. Well, let's see how much damage we do to Incineroar. Not bad. That's some solid damage. That is some solid damage. Now I go back up to full HP. Incineroar is going to go for a parting shot, maybe? What are you doing here, Incineroar? I am already minus one. I might have to just swap my boy. Yep, there's parting shot. Oh, into Miraidon. That's not bad. That's not bad. So Miraidon, we're going to have to swap him next turn. He might come back out for another Intimidate, which... Oh, man, that does me dirty. I think I'm going to swap Ditto into a Trap Ghost. I think that's my plan here. Swap Ditto into Trap Ghost, get those plus boosts, and then really start getting, getting after him, right? They got High Trippy Drapple coming out here. Yeah, it's a good swap for us to go into Ditto. And on top of that, I think we just hard swap my boy right now into Ogre Pond. We do a double swap here. A nice, lovely double swap. So I'll save my Paul Mott next to my Miraidon for late game. Um, we'll get out Ditto right now to steal the stat boost of... of Terrapagos. So my, my Terrapagos now is going to be plus one on special attack. Plus one on special defense. Furthermore, it's going to have the choice scarf, which is awesome. 
which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. And there's that Terra. There's that Terra. So they want to get rid of Terrain there. All right. Unless this is high trippy Trapple, but yeah, no shot. No shot. So they get the Trap Ghost rolling here. I still have Terra Shell, right? Should, right? Actually, maybe not. We might not have an ability. No, we definitely take the ability. I also have Terra Shell here. We get rid of the Terrain. Ogre Pond is going to take a little bit of damage. Terra Star Storm is going to fly. Terra Shell is going to help us out tremendously. And I soaked this all day. Thank you very much. I mean, Ogre Pond's going to take some damage. And Hi, Drippy Drapple, what are you doing? You're going for a Palm Puff, so you're just healing him up for a little bit. It's no big deal. I guess that's the plan with, with him right there. Will Terra Star Storm still be super effective? I'm curious. I'm curious to see that. We get a speed boost here. I do get a speed boost. Actually, no, the grass one gets a speed boost. I think we just spiky shield here. And we just attack this thing. We probably should have, honestly... Oh, you're going to swap here. You're going to swap. I was going to say, we honestly should just attack the... What's it called? The high Drapple. But he's just going to go into Intimidate, which is no big deal. I mean, you can fake me out next turn. But I'm going to spike shield up. I'm going to spike shield up here. I'd like to just dump on Incineroar. Maybe swap Ogre Pond next turn. Terra Star Storm flies through it. He doesn't have his boost anymore. And we just dump on Incineroar. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of here. Attack by Ogre Pond. Go for Palm Puff. Let's go. Let's go. It's a big time turn for us. All right. So now he, his trap goes. His trash slides, but it's not plus one on defense, special defense or special attack, which is huge. Uh, they end up going into Ogre Pond. And I can just rip another one of these and just follow me. Yeah, I'm cool with that. They can't take away terrain either, this game. So I'm just going to use my Ogre Pond for defensive purposes. It's minus one on attack. So I think this is our best interest to do that. He's going to go for a quick attack regardless, which we soak. <laughs> which we soak. That's massive. Terra Stars from Fly and Ogre Pond. He's forced to attack. Oh, wow. That did some damage. Leaving you on one. He's going to go for a Fickle Beam. And it gets an all-out attack, yo. Their RNG is awesome. I'm actually glad I see that. That Fickle Beam was KOing us regardless. So at least he got an all-out attack on a Pokemon that it didn't matter. We're just hoping it's not going to get an all-out attack on a different Pokemon. But from here... Yeah, we definitely got to go into Miraidon. I mean, we could save our Palmont. Yeah, I like Miraidon here. We're sitting in a pretty good position. Because I can outspeed. I can get rid of... They already used our Terror type, too. I can get rid of this... This high drapple, high drippy drapple with dragon pulls, so that's good. And I could just send Terra Star Storm into this slot in case he wants to swap. So we're sitting pretty good. I mean, I still have Terra. I might want to send it here. Don't want to send it here. Yeah, I do want to send it. I do want to send it just in case this this dragon pulse doesn't KO. We'll have an electric Terra type, so we can't just like trick a meter me down. I like that. So we're sitting in such a good position. That Ditto play, bring in Ditto was top tier for us because they were setting up that uh that Terrapagos and then we just brought in our Terrapagos we're like yeah that's not happening that's not happening he's gonna end up spiky shielding we are choice into our uh Terra Star Storm but Dragon Pulse again should just KO we're in our terrain big time stab super effective get on out of here Hydrippy Drapple as much as I love Hydrapple we had to we had to put it to rest we had to put it to rest we had to finish him off So now we're in a little weird position where he can go for follow me. We don't like that because right now we're fastest. We definitely want to go Terra Star Storm. We actually only have a couple left. And do I Volt Switch Pivot? Yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch Pivot into Palm Mod just so I can fake out next turn. Volt Switch Pivot. Bop. We go into Palm Mod. I can fake out next turn. I start throwing close combats. I can go for a Revival Blessing. That is definitely our play next turn. We're so going into Revival Blessing next turn. I feel like he's just going to protect. We know what moves he has, too. We know what moves he has. And Terra Star Storm might just KO, to be honest. Nope. Half. Half HP. Half HP. Alright, so both my Pokemon soaked this all day. And since we do half HP, I mean, we're just going to throw a Terra Star Storm. And we're going to go for a Revival Blessing because if he protects... Oh, dude, Trap Ghost dies if, we, if he protects. 
<laughs> if he protects, we get off a revival bus. And if he doesn't protect me, KO, we win the match. So that's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. They just cancel battle. Never mind. We don't even get to see if we can get revival blessing up. But uh, bounce back match there. We're sitting one and one. There's a win for us. We got into the win column. We're going up against Rayquaza now, which is a dope Pokemon. It has E-Speed, Dragon Ascent, probably protecting maybe like Sword Stance. So that's stuff we got to watch out for. Grimmsnarl going to be so annoying. We don't really want to deal with Grimmsnarl. But one thing that I do notice is they have no terrain. So that's going to be really good for us to just go into Mirror Brydon for a lead. And I like Gliscor here. We're going to rock out with Gliscor, try to get him ripping some Gliscor. Mirror Rhydon, we are going to bring Ogre Pond, and actually, Tauros could be really nice for us. A few physical attackers, maybe a few burns. I'm going to go Tauros here, and I'm going to go Ogre Pond or Ditto. Ditto was clutch last match, let's be honest here, but Ogre Pond, I like it here. Especially with Sturdy, works as a free Focus Sash, could hit some Pokemon hard with Ivy Cudgel, or even Power Whip. You know the deal with that. You know the deal with that. But as you guys can tell, since I came back from vacation, I got really tan. I'm starting to peel, man. Hate peeling after sunburn. Hate it. It just sucks. I'm like scratching. I'm all itchy. It's like, bro, dude, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> but uh, they end up going into these two. Do I hard swap into maybe Tauros and just Intimidate here? And then Terrastalize and go for like Electro Drift to KO? We have Airlock. I mean, Airlock's not really doing much. Um... I definitely want to harass slash you. Do I just go electric electro charge? Or electro drift? Um I, th I think so. We don't want to we don't want to stay dragon type. That flutter man would just would just kill us at this point. I could just stay on the field and go for a parabolic charge. Hmm, I would love to. You know what? We're not gonna go for parabolic charge. Went to we're gonna send electro drift. And we're just gonna hard swap into Tauros. Tauros! Toro, Toro, Toro! Love Tauros. That's so dope. Especially these new forms. They got like, what do they have? Three of them and they're all different typings. Gonna intimidate up. You're probably clear. I'm Why didn't I think of this? Am I stupid or am I dumb? Yeah, dude, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. But I like Tauros' typing, so that's still a fine swap for me. That is still a fine swap for me. Still a fine swap for me. I don't mind. Because I can maybe get off a burn. If I can get off a burn, baby, onto Ray, onto Ray Ray. Woo! We'd be sitting nice. We'd be sitting nice. And we're out speeding. You are not sashed. You're definitely sashed. I mean, you didn't boost your energy up. You're definitely sashed. No doubt in my mind. Womp womp. Good to know we outspeed, though. Love outspeeding. Unless you... You definitely got e-speed. Oh, no. We already know what you're doing. We already know what you're doing. You're going for e-speed. Oh, you trick him as well. That might be good for us. That's a shot at being good because I might be able to outspeed and just burn this thing now. Could go into Gliscor. Could go into Ogre Pond. Let's stay on the field. I'm going to try to bull switch Piv. And take out Fluttermane at the same time. And on top of that, go into a lovely little Will-O-Wisp into this thing. To kind of calm this thing down, it is scaring me. Like, if it... Normal terrors here, and then just starts e speed, and it is a little shaky. But, mm. <laughs> oh man, dude, Rayquaza really set up a sword stance there. How can I do this? How can I deal with this? Yeah, Ditto would have been sick here. Ditto would have been awesome. Ditto would have been so good. And yeah, there's the normal terror. All right, I'm here for it. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. We know you're going for e speed. Who are you attacking, though? You gotta be doubling down to me, right on, correct? Hopefully you're going after Tauros, but you never know. They did set up Trick Room, kind of good for us, but E Speed just. Oh man, he going after? Yep. Can you soak this, please? You do soak it, which is good. You going for Gleam? Actually, outspeed you, which is good news. So I can take you out next turn with Tauros. And you gotta be going for Gleam here. You gotta be doubling down to me, right on. That's why I maybe should have swapped it. Oh, actually, we outspeed you. We outspeed you. What was it, a speed tie? Oh, no, you went for Trick Room turn one, which is why. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we outsped them because they went for Trick Room turn one, and then we were just slower, so that works fine. We now got a burn on the Rayquaza. We still have him re-ride on for late game. Uh, you got a normal type out here. I could go into you, but I think I'd rather save you and just go into Ogre Pond here. Because with Ogre Pond, I can go for Follow Me. Um, if they throw out another physical attack and we can burn them, we could start attacking this Rayquaza. But the burn's pretty big. It helps neutralize that Sword Stance boost. Really helps us out a lot. 
really helps us out. Now they're gonna go in the Clefairy and they're just gonna, you know, follow me. We already know they're gonna follow me, so our best bet is just to attack. And what's doing more damage? Power Whip's doing more damage. This has a better chance of letting a crit. Plus, I don't feel like dealing with accuracy right now. So I'm just gonna double down on Rayquaza. If they follow me, they follow me. Um, I'm gonna go for Raging Bull instead because, again, I, I do believe follow me comes out here. But Raging Bull's a nice little fire move. Let's do it. Let's attack. Yep, there's follow me. Pretty simple play. Pretty simple play for him. Rayquaza might even go for another Swords Dance, which is scary. And yeah, there it is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Please have mercy. Raging Bull flies, does mediocre damage. Not bad. Ivy Cudgel, can you get a crit and just finish this Clefairy off? No crit. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so Raging Bull. Hmm. Do they still KO me with? I gotta do the same thing. I could go for Follow Me. Could honestly read the E speed. But whatever you're going for. I could go for Follow Me. I could spike the shield here. Who do I think he's attacking? That's the real problem here. Is who do I think he's attacking? Is he really going to E speed my Rock Ogre Pond? I don't think so. I don't think so. I got sturdy regardless. You know, we're going to do this and we're just going to protect the bull. Actually, we don't have protect on the bull. We'll double down again. We'll get off some damage on the Rayquaza this turn. Life do. We're double down. We might be able to KO Rayquaza here. Might be able to KO it. Let's see what he's doing here. He's going for Dragon Ascent. Go for my Ogre Pond, please. Nope, Taurus is dead. Thanks for playing, Taurus. <laughs> Thanks for playing. So he ends up dropping his defense. We might be able to hit it hard with this Ivy Cudgel here. Your defense is dropped because of that. Pretty big news for us. Ivy Cudgel, just get a crit. Lay this thing out. Oh mm, my god. Alright, so Burn's slowly chipping up. He's just gonna sit here and life do up. He's gonna sit here and life do up. Um, might as well go in to follow me here, right? And just dump on this... This thing? Yeah, yeah. We gotta do that. It's only only shot at win this. Follow me. Dump on. We gotta go for Parabok Charge, right? Yeah, follow me. We gotta go for Parabok Charge to KO. Thing is, Life Dew probably comes out beforehand, but I I'm fine with sacrificing our Ogre Pond if we can KO this Rayquaza. It's gotta be our play. It's gotta be our play. Yep, there's Follow Me. Good, good call for me to go for Parabok Charge here. He's got to be going for E-Speed. I hope my Ogre Pond can soak all this, but... This thing is scaring me. No, we're going to we're gonna KO our... What's it called? This is a fine turn for us. We're going to KO our Ogre Pond, but... We're going to KO his Rayquaza and probably his Clefairy all in one turn, which is huge for us. Which is huge for us. And then we have Glyscore chilling in the back end um, with Toxic Heal. And depending on who their last Pokemon is, this could be rather good for us. So yeah, we just cleared a field. That, that, was, that was a must play for us. And I get back some HP. Get back some HP. I get one HP back from Ogre Pond. I'm gonna get HP back from the Rayquaza and the Clefairy. So actually, I'm cool with that. Give me all my HP back. Give me a lot of HP back. We actually get a good chunk back. What are we back in the hundreds? Woo! 99. Went from about 30 to 99. All right, that's cool. I got some HP. Take out the whole field. That was a must play for us. It was a must. I hate to sacrifice my own Ogre Pond. But that was a must play. This thing was plus four on attack with Swords Dance. Luckily, we burned it to kind of neutralize some damage. But we played it pretty well. And Trick Room just ends, which is huge. I mean, our terrain ends too, but I'm still hitting pretty hard. And I got my Gliscor to finish off this match. Who's your final Pokemon? Is it Urshifu? That'd be a slight issue. Urshifu would be definitely be a slight issue. Urshifu would definitely be a slight issue. But we outspeed Urshifu, which is good. We do outspeed him. It's Dark Urshifu. All right, that, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. I mean, you could sucker punch me. So I'm just gonna start attacking. And trying to get, at least get some HP back with Parabok Charge. But yeah, you're gonna sucker punch me. No, you don't. You don't! So that pretty much wraps up the game. Parabok Charge is gonna do big time damage. Actually, didn't do as much as I thought it would. But Gliscor should be able to just win this match by himself, right? I'm up to 144. High horsepower. Oh no! Gliscor! Soak this. Oh no. Glyscore outspeeds. But I don't think it KOs in. I think it needs two high horsepowers to KO. We should have just went for Electro Drift. I think it needs two high horsepowers to KO. 
Hi, oh, cool. Why you gotta do me like that? Don't tell me I lose this to RNG. Just KO. Yeah, we need one more. And he could probably sucker punch me here. Oh, no. He hits through protect. Do we think he sucker punches? He's gotta go for sucker punch. Unless you're choice. There's no way you're choice. There's no way you're choice. I'm just gonna protect. I think you gotta go for sucker punch here. You gotta go for sucker punch. Don't tell me you're going for wicked blow. No shot you do that. You gotta be choice. Are you kidding me? That hurts, man. So bad read on our part. I would have sworn this thing was going for sucker punch, but I guess it was choice ban. But uh, honestly, we lose to RNG there. High horsepower missing on that first one. Honestly, that last match was just a gut call. It could have been choice ban. It could have not been choice ban. I just assumed that it wasn't. I thought it was going to go for sucker punch. So I went for the protect. Ended up just wicked blowing. It was game over. But yeah, it was pretty much just like a 50-50 shot. Because if I didn't protect any sucker punch, he was still KOing me. And yeah, it was just a... It was just a gut call, and my gut was wrong. My gut was wrong, which sucks, because that first high horsepower, if it lands, we win that match all day. We needed two high horsepowers land, and we ended up missing one. So RNG always doing me dirty. We got one and two for today's video, but definitely could have been a 2-1 winning record day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Go!